Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create and call or use our own functions in PHP. So um, functions are basically um, sets of instructions. All right, so like a set of code that you can run over and over and again in your program. So you can create a function that contains a list of instructions or a whole heap of statements, um, all of your code, a block of code. And then you can um, call on that function again later on in your code um, without having to write all of those lines or all of those instructions again. So there are a range of existing functions that you can already use in PHP. Um, and in many languages, there's a range of functions that already exist in the language. So for example, there are a range of string functions that you can use to um, process strings or to check things on strings. So you can use um, the string length function, strlen, um, to find out what the length of a string is or how many characters there are in a string. Um, there's heaps of different functions like that. There's a lot of math functions as well. Um, so you might use math functions to um, round a number. There are time functions to find out what the time is, what the date is. Um, so lots of different functions already exist in the PHP language. Um, but you can actually create your own functions and you can use them. So to create a function, and if you've coded in JavaScript before, it's pretty much the same in PHP. You use the keyword function and then you give the function a name. Um, so I'm just going to create to start with a, a function that's just going to display a message. So something really simple. So I'm going to call it same message. And then you put open bracket and close bracket. Now, what these brackets are for, uh, inside these brackets, you can add parameters. All right, so you can take something from the program, put it into this function and use it in the function. But we're not going to use parameters just yet. We're going to do that in a few minutes. So um, we can leave those brackets empty and then add the curly brackets. And inside the curly bracket is where our code is going to go. So we could have multiple lines of code in here, a whole set of instructions or statements. And that's what the um, function is going to do. When the function is called, it's going to run whatever code is in this function. All right. So for this function, it's just going to say a message. So it might just say something like, I have an echo statement. I might just say something like, hello, this is my function. Okay. All right. Now we've created the function. We've defined it. So we've used the function keyword to say, all right, this is going to be a function. We've given the function a name. We haven't specified any parameters yet because we don't need any for this function. And then we've um, put the code inside the function. So what, whatever code we want to run when this function is used. All right, so we've put that in there. But at the moment, nothing is going to happen because we've created the function, but we haven't called it yet. All right, so now we can call the function. And to do that, all we need to do is say its name or call it by its name. And that name is same message. All right, and then again, we have open close bracket and just end that with a semicolon. All right, so um, what we can do is run this in the browser and there we go. We've got that little message there saying, hello, this is my function. All right, so we created the function here and then we called it here. All right, now say we might, um, we might get um, somebody's name from, uh, uh, some input. So we might have like a form or something like that where somebody can type in the name and then we might want to give a greeting back. We might want to say hello and then their name. So we can use their name as a parameter. We can use the input as a parameter. Now we're not going to look at how to get input from the user in this tutorial or how to create forms, but we can just pretend that we've got a variable um, and we're going to put that in as input. Uh, we're going to use that as a parameter. So um, what we can say here is instead of, um, instead of saying, hello, this is my function, we can say hello and then somebody's name. So we can specify a parameter and so we could call that parameter. Um, we can create a variable here called name. All right. So we've got that there. And then we could say something like, um, hello and then space and then name. All right, and then after that, we might just um, 
at a full stop. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to we're making a variable called name. We're specifying that as a parameter, and then we're going to say hello name, and we need to get the name from somewhere, and this is where we get it. All right. So when we call the function, we can add um, the value there, the parameter. So we might just say Batman. <laughs> All right. So this is the value here that is going to be put into the function. All right. So we've got this value here, this string. It's going to be put into the function, and then it's going to be used in the function. All right. So we save that and refresh. And there we go, we've got that message, hello Batman. All right, so that's how we can use one parameter in a function. So that parameter could be a string, it could be an integer, it could be a float, whatever. But um, here in this example, we've used a string. Now what we'll do is we'll create a new function. And instead of using one parameter, we'll use two. And this time we might use an integer or two integers. All right, so this function I'm going to make is going to be used to add two numbers together. So I'm going to call it add. All right, and then in brackets, I'm going to create two variables. It's going to be called, one variable is going to be A, and the other one is going to be B. All right, now, in this function, I'm going to um, add two numbers together. All right, so this function is just going to be used for some simple addition. All right, so what I'll do is I'll make another value called C, and C is going to be equal to A plus B. All right, so we're going to calculate A and B, all right, and put that into a variable called C. And then when, what we might do is put echo dollar sign A, uh, and then space and then plus, and then dollar sign B. All right, and then a space in there. We're, oops, we're going to add a string in here. An equals sign. All right, another comma. So we're going to basically spit out a message that's going to say A plus B equals and then the value of C. Okay. All right, that looks right. So A plus B equals C. All right. So um, we need to, now we've specified A and B as the parameter, and we've specified, we'll create a new variable here, which is gonna be equal to A plus B, and then we're gonna display the message. We need to actually get the values A and B to use in this function. So we can call the function, all right? So we can call the function, and then we can put the parameters inside the brackets. So we might add um, five and 10 together. All right, so we can save that and refresh, and then we get five plus 10 equals 15. All right, so we've created a simple function which can take two values, right? Here in this example, the first value is five and the second value is 10. We can use those as parameters. So we can make them A and B, and then we can add them together. So we can create a variable that takes those values and adds them together, all right? And then basically what we're doing is using the echo statement to put A, which is five, plus B, which is 10, equals, and then the answer, which is 15. We're gonna spit that out there. All right, so here in this example, we've now got two parameters going. We could have more parameters if we wanted to. So we could have like um, another one here. We could have um, D or something like that, and then add D as well. All right, so we could do something like that. And then we could add a little bit more here. Um, D, all right, and then we could add another number in here. So we could add um, four, all right, which should get, give the answer 19. So if we save and refresh, now we've got five plus 10 plus four equals 19. All right, so I've used three parameters. So you can put as many parameters as you want in there. Um, you could have no parameters at all, and you could have one parameter, two, three, four, five, um, whatever. Um, but functions are very useful um, for when there's code that you um, might need to use at some point in your program. You might need to use it many times in your program. 
and you can just add that code once and put it into a function and call on that function whenever you need to. All right, so that's um, it for this tutorial. We've looked at how to create functions and how to use functions and then add parameters to those functions. Thanks for watching.